It's all right, I failed. I'm a failure to society. It's okay. I'll just have to live with it. So we got a 2005 GTO here, uh, getting ready to baseline. Eric is the GTO master around the shop. Ah, oh, what, what does this thing have done to it? Oh. Got a headers and blonde intake. Mine made 385, I think, on this setup. 390 maybe? Yeah, 390 on, uh, this thing has to have tacks on it. I was gonna say, four, Dude, my car was so fucking loud with the same exhaust, exhaust setup. Really? Yeah. What are you guessing? 375. Okay. Kyle? Okay, 375? 382. My car made about 415 with the can. Oh, man. And then 4, 450 with the, with the cam and uh, fast manifold. I'm going to say 390. Okay. I want to say that's about what mine made, 390 with the headers. Didn't pick up much from the cam, did it? Well, I mean, it did. But... I wasn't keeping an eye on the, um... You're in fourth gear? We're teaching Kyle the baseline logistics here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, make another one. Kyle said exactly 382. Yeah. Ty, are you excited to be doing another GTO? Yeah, this one's really clean, so I don't mind doing this one. Oh, okay. And I don't have to do headers, so I'm fine. Okay. I'm fine. <laughs> are the headers different on this one? What? Are the headers different? I don't know what brand they are. They, it looks like they don't have like the whole thing with that other... Oh, they do. All headers have to. And you just... Ah. There's no way you don't. And that's all the driver's side. Clamp, the boot clamp, yeah, that's kind of sick. See? Yeah, I'm there. Oh, yeah. These look like the cups that I put on. Like the same ones we use, I mean. Yeah. I'm sure there's not many brands that make them. Just because there's... A shiny new drone. New thump stick. On the springs, back. Uh, yeah, I'll front back together by lunchtime, and after lunch I'll do the springs. Just about wrapped up the springs. Yeah, you get the last one. Oh, that sounds delicious. 
Had to start filming when you're doing the worst ones. Yeah, you know, I'm on the fucking most pain in the ass one that you can come over and decide to film it. Garrett always films the worst <laughs> Oh, you're on the worst one? Now I'll film you. You've been doing this for an hour? Now, let me film it right now. Every milkshake you drink. Yeah, Garrett, you cut out the milkshake yet for your training? I am cutting them out. I'm not going to get them anymore. Well, Taco Bell is the healthiest fast food chain. That actually might be. What fast food chain would be healthier than? I didn't. It took me a second to think about that. Oh my god, that steak and chicken fucking quesadilla fucked me up. Guys, I had a burrito for lunch yesterday. Speaking of Mexican, Matt, you see the weather for next Friday? Looking like a Cecil and Mexican food kind of Friday. The weather next Friday. Yeah, I don't know if I'm counting on it, but I'd like to take a look. Looks promising. Oh, it does. Jesus Christ, next week's gonna be I know, right? Next beautiful. week's really turning it up. Yeah! Kyle, <laughs> are you coming? I'm really thinking about it. I brought my lunch, but goddamn it. It does sound kind of good. For the longest time, you talked shit about Taco Bell. And, and I admit it to Matt. Fucking last experience was a really good one. I will say the Taco Bell near my house is really going downhill. Is it? It is. Past like two or three times I went there, it's just... Not hitting the spot? It let me down. My quesadilla is just not loaded like it should be. Thing was, I don't even think it was cut the last time I got it. My, ta my taco was completely soggy. That's not good. My hard shell taco. Disgusting. You should write a letter. I should have. I, I should have fucking turned hey, around. Listen. I should have drove back in there. A driver outside a Taco Bell ramming employees and driving into this store. Incredibly, no one was seriously hurt here. You guys fucking suck. You complain. Do me a favor and never make fun of it again. Oh, Kyle, I got one for you. you got me one of me. Radiator or radiator? Radimitator. Which one do you say? Radiator. Radiator? Depends. I use both. Oh, oh you use both? Inside a house, radiator. In a car, <laughs> radiator. Okay. But they're just all the same, right? It's not. It's not I'm just telling you how I say it's it. It's not actually a different I'm thing. I'm not saying what I do is. Correct. I'm just telling you what I do. <laughs> it's the way I've always done it. Matt. Yeah. Do you say radiator or radiator? Radiator. What about the ones in the house? Radiator. Okay. Yeah. Kyle just said See? the same thing. Yeah. I mean, they have two different jobs. Exactly. There's two different things. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Radiators radiate heat. Yeah. That makes sense. It's not radiating heat. Yeah, that makes sense. these things are fucking radiating the shit, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's radiating the coolant. Call them heat soakers. Alright, now my least favorite moment. Putting your bear ram on. <laughs> Am I gonna fucking raise the front end up a little bit or whatever the fuck I need to do? It's just, it's just what it is. The one I was gonna put on there was about an inch. My old one was oh, basically just, five inches. I don't, even know if I, I don't even know if I noticed this when you were putting it on the other one, but it's making use of the little like hood bands. Yeah. It's like right where them hood bands are. It's gonna have to play that by here. And I don't know if I'm gonna have to put the Frankenstein manifold on, or if I'm gonna have to I remember this thing was fitting a little weird on the other one. The problem is the radius. It's hard to get it to sit right. Put the cover up.
2005 GTO. We're actually doing his and his brother's car at the same time. I think his brother's got a 6 gen. We did a full cam package and a bare rim. So obviously everything that comes with a cam package, valve springs, push rods, oil pump, you know, whatever, et cetera, et cetera. This thing made 382 baseline. It's been a while since I did GTO. We don't really do them anymore. We will, as long as they're clean. This thing has 15,000 miles on it, so it is very clean. And I won't do 04s. So I'll only do uh, 05, 06. All right, see what we got. Band is fucking. I'm gonna make one more pull actually. I'm gonna uh, let it warm up a little bit more and then I'll make a full pull and we'll clean it after lunch. But 432, 408 on the first pull, which was only to 5800. Or something come it loose? Completely loose. I felt it. Strap came a little loose. A little quick little tighten. I know air fuel's good, but I mean, it's like I'm remote tuning it. I just don't have a wideband. I'm just looking at fucking other shit. So I'll do that and then we'll see how close I am once we get the wideband fixed. This thing have headers on it when it got here, I guess. Fifty four fourteen. I'm not used to like LS two timing because <laughs> obviously it takes more than any uh, like LS seven or LT or something like that. Fucking oil pressure on this thing is killer. Yeah, I mean I fucking love it. It's got a hundred pounds of oil pressure. It's got like sixty five at idle. But the gauge that these little factory GTO gauges starts at fifteen and goes to seventy five. So it's like almost pegging the gauge just at idle. <laughs> Whatever. The gauge maxes out at 75? Yeah. It's just like one of those Australian, not that you would know it's before your time, but these are like these like gauges that match the factory gauges. Like mm -hmm. they're, they're nice for GTO shit. Yeah. Eric um, actually was telling yeah, me about yeah. those gauges Eric before. Uh, they, are, they are really nice. Before this car even came in, he told me about yeah. those gauges. So they're badass. They are. Once the oil's getting a little hotter, it's uh, cooling down. Or uh, the pressure's coming down. I mean, it's still 59 right now. Pounds of oil pressure there, 94. So 452, 414. Um, I'll let that sit until after lunch, and then we get the wide band and go from there. Uh, we'll be back. All right, we fixed wide band. We're back. Fuel was 
like fucking perfect. I'd say I did okay. I'm gonna pull a little bit out up top, but nothing that's gonna fucking change anything. I made the same exact thing as it did to pull before. Pulls one horsepower off. 451, 414. So one horsepower and one torque off. 382, and it's at 452, so it's up 70 horsepower with a cam and an air intake. Not bad. All right. try and make a little more at least 455 which I might have already made it but this thing is really nice for a GTO by the way like usually 15 year old cars are not this clean this thing is really nice 454 is a good number 455 though let's see if you know where I'm going with the 454 versus 455 for this particular vehicle 454 is a Chevy engine, 455 is a Pontiac engine. Ah, okay. <laughs> it's the only reason why I want one more horsepower. If I make two more, well, then I'm fucked. Four sixteen torque. Or maybe I can try and make four sixty. Not that that really makes any bit of a difference, but I'm trying to get a little more torque too. Let's see. Nine four nineteen, but it may go up one and one. Ah, fuck. Point yeah, point. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll get up there. That's gonna be the final. Fifty-nine is all we got, and four nineteen. It actually went down. It's all right. I failed. I'm a failure to society. It's okay. I'll just have to live with it. This thing is done, though. Later.